Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about string tokenizer. We are going to see what is a string tokenizer, what are the different methods used in string tokenizer and also we are going to see how to use string tokenizer object in a program and accept these strings okay, as token by token and then manipulate it. So usually we input values, a value at a time following each value by a carriage return that means you will enter the values in the terminal window okay by pressing enter key after entering each and every word or every number you will press enter key to move on to the next uh, next word or number okay that is the meaning of carriage return it will be nice if you can type both the whole sentence and the computer that is compiler itself the program itself will calculate the number of tokens then and then you can manipulate it so it will be very nice so here the string tokenizer comes the string tokenizer class is used to accept the sequence of strings and read it token by token so here you can use the string tokenizer to accept the whole sentence word by word or accept the whole set of numbers number by number right and then do the manipulation so it will be very nice to do that it is like automatically it reads everything and it is ready made and you can do just the manipulation create an instance of the class string tokenizer to use the method so if you want to use string tokenizer you should create an object for string tokenizer so we are going to see how to do that you can see string tokenizer data equal to new string tokenizer and within parenthesis string here you can see string tokenizer is a single word you can see the capital s and capital t okay you should be written in, in the same way and then the object then equal to uh, symbol and then you got a new operator which is used to which used to create the instance and then again string tokenizer within bracket you can either give the string value you know that if it is not only a single word or it is not a single number it may be a sentence okay it's a long sentence so you can always use an input st input statement instead of string okay the argument is a string of text that means uh, it is not uh, Java usually accepts everything, uh, all the input as strings. So it will may be a long sentence. Okay. It provides two methods for processing strings. So once you uh, uh, execute, once you start writing program using string tokenizer, you need to use these two methods. One is count tokens and second one is next token. So we are going to see first one, count tokens. So count token method count tokens method returns the number of tokens that are delimited by white space in a given string so it is very nice to know how many words you entered on the screen every time you can change the length of the sentence automatically it knows how many tokens are available and it will count it and it will return so count token is a very important method okay next one is next token so next token method returns the next token in a string form the current token this method is used to pass along the string token by token. So here what happens? It is an actual an input statement. Okay. You are going to get the input from the keyboard. Okay. And it will be stored as string. And then you are going to take that string and read it token by token and then store it into an array variable or normal string variable. Right. So here you are going to see a program. A program to identify and output the tokens in a string provided by the user okay so here you're going to accept a string so maybe a sentence and then you're going to count and then you're going to input and then you're going to display right now here uh, you can see import java dot io dot asterisk and also you got import java dot util dot asterisk because string tokenizer comes under util package you need to include uh, util package into the program and uh, obviously you should have uh, io uh, package also to be included because you are going to use buffer reader we got a class name class s token this is a class name and then you got public static void main string argues throws io exception right now inside this you got buffer reader br equal to new buffer reader inside that you uh, inside parenthesis you got a new input stream reader system.in so system.in is nothing but the keyboard from the keyboard it will take the input and it will be stored in input stream reader and then it will pass on to the buffer reader object now you got an integer variable count to count number of tokens available okay which will be stored in this then you got uh, as output statement system at print input the string so you're going to display a message enter the string 
okay now uh, usually we use br dot read line okay that is the statement you will use to input the string and then you will store it into the variable now for a change you are going to create string tokenizer object and store the input whatever you enter uh, through keyboard into the object so it is the line so string tokenizer data equal to new string tokenizer br dot read line so br dot read line is the input you are going to provide that will be stored into the object data now the whole string is stored into data okay remember that now count equal to data dot count token so immediately it will return it will count number of tokens available and it will be stored into the variable count so now you know how many times you need to execute now it is very easy to use the loop to access all the words or numbers from the given string right next is uh, you are going to display the number of tokens so system at print line number of tokens you are going to display count value that will be displayed on the screen now you are going to use the for loop to read the words or read the numbers right so in say since this program says it is words so it is just token so you are going to read words okay so here int i equal to 0 i lesser than count i plus plus okay so why you are using count value is only same like length length function where you are using string you start with 0 and then you will have uh, you will go on till uh, 1 minus the length right so here also count value will be 1 plus so you have to put less than count and then here you can see that system at print line data dot next token so it it is already stored in data you are going to take it uh, one by one token by token so your next token will take uh, the whole string token by token and display it on the screen okay so this is what the program is you are going to see uh, input the string india is great as the string which you entered you can see number of tokens is three and it is reading the tokens one by one that is words one by one and displaying on the screen so it may be uh, according to whatever sentence you type it automatically stores the whole sentence into the uh, object data and then count number of tokens and display the number of token and also displays the tokens uh, that is the string uh, token by token that is word by word next you got one more program since we discussed about uh, numbers you are going to process a number sequence with string tokenizer not only string you can also process numbers right so same thing here import java dot io dot asterisk and then you got import java dot util dot asterisk so two packages been included public class s token number so it is a class name and then again you got a main function and then buffer reader object and you got uh, <coughs> first variable is int uh, n equal to zero int uh, array because you are going to take the numbers one by one and then you are going to do manipulate manipulate something so you are going to use an array variable only one half is there because you don't know how many numbers you are going to enter after knowing how many numbers you are going to enter then you can uh, you can define the remaining part of the array now int total equal to zero so these are the three variables you are going to uh, use it in the program so you are going to find the total of the numbers you are going to enter say you can use it for a student mark sheet or a mark list all that right now uh, you can display a message input a sequence of integers separated by comma here you remember uh, you can not only by default you will use the delimiter space you can also pinpoint and say that you can change the delimiter right so how to do that is you can see string tokenizer data equal to new string tokenizer here you can see br dot read line that is input statement comma if you use comma within double quotes this will be the delimiter you have set okay so if you enter a number put comma in between okay here you cannot use space so space is the default delimiter which is changed to the comma right so when you enter the numbers uh, you have to separate it by comma now once you do that once that whole line is completed you know that next line is n equal to data dot count token so here it will count the number of tokens available and it will be stored because comma is set as a delimiter comma is not counted as token okay only the numbers will be counted as token and it will be stored in n now you know how many number of tokens are available you are going to display it uh, system at print line uh, number of tokens you are going to display n value okay now immediately next line is you already uh, declared the first half of array the remaining half that means you know how many values have been input now you can declare the array here are equal to new 
i n t within within square bracket you can put n so now the array has been declared suppose you enter 10 uh, integer values the array length will be 10 now the second part of the uh, program here you are going to use the loop for i int i equal to 0 i lesser than n i plus plus we already discussed discussed about what you are using 0 and less than n in the previous program itself now this line is very important arr of i equal to new integer within parenthesis data dot next token okay so data dot next token is the uh, uh, is the uh, statement that is a function which used to take the uh, from the whole statement uh, takes the numbers token by token and here you are going to convert it into integer so this integer is a wrapper class which is used to convert the string into integer right now here uh, dot int value so int value is a function which is used in java to convert okay whatever it return it returns as integer that means it will uh, remove the decimal places or truncate the decimal places and it stores only the integer part of the value right so this int value will do that so uh, the string whatever you enter will be taken token by token it will be converted to integer and it will be stored into the array so once you do that next is very important uh, is you are going to display all th uh, that uh, uh, array values one by one okay system out printer and error of i so it will display all the numbers one by one after displaying you can also find the total right so total plus equal to error of i so it will add all the values and it will be stored in uh, total now finally you're going to display the total and also you can find the average so total divided by n i uh, no need to have separate variable for average you're just going to display it on the screen now you're going to see the output screen here input a sequence of integers separated by comma so you can see the numbers which has been separated by comma so you can keep on adding numbers so it is not necessary you have to stop with the exact values and all you can keep on how many ever numbers you want you can enter but separate it by comma right now you can see number of once the input is over uh, number of tokens equal to 9 okay one minute uh, number of tokens uh, is 9 and you can see all the tokens has been displayed one below the other and it automatically adds all the numbers the total is uh, 349 and average is 38 okay so if you understood uh, this video uh, we'll meet you in the next video till then